uh, what action should you be taking when the cargo of grain will shift at sea? So I'll cover this uh, topic in a few videos where I'll be talking about the grain code, the stability criteria. So all that I can't cover in one video. So I'll make a series of videos and I hope that you will watch all those videos. But today's focus is only on the shifting of grain code if it happens at sea and what action should you be taking. So any ship that uh, loads grain has to follow a grain code. So the grain code has been developed and prepared for ships that are carrying grain. Now also under the ISM code and the chapter of emergency preparedness, it's identified that the company should establish procedures to identify, describe and respond to emergency shipboard situations. So there should be a pre-planned contingency for that particular vessel approved by the company. So if you are carrying a grain on your ship, even as per ISM, you are required to identify that a possible shift in the cargo may occur at sea and then identify the procedures uh, to follow if such an incident happens. So most likely the list or the cargo will uh, shift and carry out a list in a partly filled hold. Uh, and that will happen mainly due to parting of lashings and securing equipment. So if you have loaded grain uh, at the load port, uh, definitely it was secured, it was lashed. Um, but uh, at sea, due to some reason, because of improper lashing or because of the excessive forces and vibrations felt by the ship, the lashing may have come apart because of which a shift in the grain cargo happened. And the cargo shifted on one side, so the ship may have developed a list on one side. So in this case, when it happens, make sure as soon as you observe it, raise emergency alarm and inform the engine room as well. Make sure that you muster the crew and investigate in which hold the cargo has shifted. Uh, in any case, uh, reduce the speed and that's where informing the engine room comes uh, handy because engine room will also require some notice to reduce the RPM from full speed. So reduce the speed and make sure you alter the course in such a way that it minimizes the effects of a swell, wave or shipping seas and reduces the rolling and pitching of the vessel. If you are of course in calm seas, then you will be fine. Uh, make sure you take a sounding of all hold bilges and tanks. Uh, calculate the stability of the vessel taking into account the list and the free surface effects in the tanks that have occurred. And again, this is the job of the chief officer uh, and the master who will be expert in the stability calculation. Then make sure that you note that correction of list by transferring of ballast may result in the shift of the grain or transfer of the grain to the other side and result in even a worse list from what was there before. So correction of list by transferring of ballast uh, should not be the immediate action. Uh, so make sure that your primary action should be lashing of the cargo as it is um, because of course you won't be able to shift the cargo back into its original position and lash it. It will be hard. It will be tons of cargo. So you'll have to lash it in the position that it is if possible and keep in mind the availability of resources on board. So you should have the resources available on board to lash it. But before you enter the grain cargo compartment, you make sure that you observe all the precautions as you would if you were enclosing in or rather entering an enclosed space. So the same precautions should be followed. Make sure that you ventilate the compartment well enough before you enter it and also check the uh, atmosphere uh, using the oxygen analyzer and the explosive meter to make sure it is safe for you to enter the compartment and observe all the other checks that are required for enclosed space entry. Once you lash the cargo the way it is uh, and you know that it will not shift back uh, to the other side, then you may think about transferring of ballast to just upright the vessel or at least uh, reduce the list to a minimum that will allow you to safely proceed on your voyage. But make sure that you sail to the nearest port of refuge if you can, especially if your destination port is still a few days away, then seek a shelter or other seek refuge in the nearest port because it's important that you immediately correct the cargo condition by making it upright and lashing it properly and making sure the cargo was loaded as it was in the uh, load port.
and make sure otherwise the vessel may have very less positive residual stability and during any time uh, during the voyage you may again develop a list or even capsize or develop an angle of lull from which it will be difficult for you to come back to the upright position it's not a safe condition to proceed but if it happens at sea make sure you lash the cover as it is if it is possible and then use the ballast to just reduce the list and but in any case proceed to the nearest ports of refuge because the, the port will be able to correct the situation at the best ability all right so this was a quick video i made because sometimes you are asked this kind of question in your orals examination so let me know what you thought about this video bye